he on stage with a bottle of fucking Hennessy chugging that bitch. If you a Hennessy drinker, you be wild. Yawn and a do rag. Why do y'all have her in a do rag? Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a get ready with me to go nowhere. Um, this hairstyle is inspired by this hairstyle is inspired by new jeans. Um, I actually was using this wig to do like another video, but it didn't turn out the color I wanted it. I wanted it to turn out this color. I wasted my money. I cut this wig. I cut the bangs in this wig, and I cut the heim cut in this wig. If you can tell, like this part right here, part of the heim cut. Also, if y'all see this sparse area right here, no, you did not. Okay. No, you did not. Primer is a Milk Hydro Grip. I swear about it. Mars. Colourpop Concealer. Okay, so while my concealer starts drying down, I'm going to let y'all know my first unpopular opinion. Like I said, it's about new jeans. And this is my unpopular opinion. I'm gonna just preface by this by saying I like their music, I love their songs, I like their concept, and I like how fresh it is. However, my unpopular opinion is they wouldn't be that big if they weren't all underage. So what I mean by that is they're all like 14 or 15. They're all very young. First of all, I don't think Idol should be debuting that young. Because what, like what? Like, the Idol industry is an industry where obviously most Idols are young, start young. But it, it's also an industry just like celebrities in like American culture. It's a lot of... It's a lot of creeps and power positions in American culture and in the idol culture. I don't think idols should be debuting that young, boy or girl. I don't care. Y'all should not be this young debuting when in reality, y'all still, like, y'all barely, y'all just got out of eighth grade. Y'all just in high school. Y'all just got in high school. Stuff like that, like, no. People are creeps, okay? It's not a safe world for kids. Not everybody has good intentions. So, and like, it's been a lot of stories where people are like, when idols are like told to like, do you inappropriate things or like coerced or manipulated to do inappropriate things. Like, they're kids. Kids should be exploited to that. Like, they should still be living that childhood. I think the right age for Idol to debut is 17, 18. That's when I feel like you're old enough to at least think with your own mind, make your own decisions. And like, you could get taken advantage of at any age, for real. But I'm just saying like, if you're gonna debut someone young, I feel like that's the youngest they should debut, 17, 18. And they had them singing a cookie inappropriate li lyrics the company whoever try to lie and say it's not it's, it's about i don't i don't even remember what they tried to lie and say it was about but it was clearly a lie if they was older i'm not saying they want to be famous still because they their music obviously sound oh my god this wig is so boneless like look at these bangs to just wrap it up i don't think people should be debuting at 13 14 15. 17, 18 is the perfect age. I feel for new jeans because they still young and they just breaking into an industry. Plus, they have a big company behind them too. A company that invests hella money into them because they are under Hype. Hype literally has BTS. Like, At The Beat just came back with... Let's put your snap on it, stamp on it. I like the song. I like the dances. Except the dance break is very lackluster. Like, for y'all to be doing them poses right before y'all get into the dance break, for for y'all just to be standing there, 
doing a shoulder exercise and nodding your head like nah and then everybody like oh boa boa should never been in the center boa look like she didn't even want to be there in the first place let's start there it's giving like the first one step back even though I, honestly people didn't like the lyrics of step back i thought it fit up pretty good i I thought it was good. I thought it was a good song. Like, y'all can not like the lyrics how y'all want, but at the end of the day, it's just a song. Like, you know how many, it's songs about killing people. And y'all mad because she, like, step back away from my man? Like, I need to see the demos. Like, it had to be something better than that. Like, fans could come up with something better than that, for real. Oh, the powder that I'm using is the Ofra powder. This isn't light. Honestly, if y'all want a pink powder, get this. This powder is pink. Let me swatch it for y'all. Like, look at it. Okay, it looked translucent, but I swear. Like, look at it. It has, like, a little bit of pink. Like, you can tell right there. It has, like, a little bit of pink. It's, like, the perfect amount, y'all. I'm not sure if you can get it from that website. I'm gonna have to check, but y'all, this powder is so good. It's nothing wrong with listening to construction music, y'all. And when I say construction music, I mean, Stray Kids, ACT. People call that construction music. And I see what they mean because that's the type of song you hear if you like say you drawing past somebody like construction workers built in a building that's something that they listen to <laughs> like it's so loud it's just like construction music like like that's what the construction workers will listen to this and this they made this song for the construction workers so they could listen to music while they built and stuff because you know when they building like using all them tools it's gonna be loud there we go. I don't like when that stuff happens. It looks like I'm dusty, but it's literally, it's literally the powder like just flying in the air. SM stylers, stylists do not give a, they don't care. How many SM artists done wore a do rag? Let's count. Or cultural appropriated. Let's count how many SM artists did all that. Okay, let's let's do it together. I'm gonna start from off memory, from what I can remember, and from from what I can remember. If I can remember anything else, if I find anything else, I'll put it on there. Or if you know anything else, comment down below. Number one, recently got the beat. Why do y'all have Tay Young? What's her name again? Tay Young and a do rag. Why do y'all have her in a do rag? Like, what the fuck? And then it's not tied up, it's just sitting on her head. Like, y'all really just doing this to make people mad at this point. They just want to get talked about. It's like, it, it's becoming a marketing strategy. And people over here trying to defend her, talk about something. She can't tell nobody not to put it on her head because she don't want no scandal. She been in the industry for how long? She was part of Girls' Generation. That group is old as shit. Like, I can't even lie. That group is old, like... I'm saying, oh, like, a OG K-pop group. Like, she has seniority. She has, she can be like, I'm not putting that on my head. Like, when Red Velvet, Irene was like, you not ready to keep dressing us looking dumb? But no, she don't care. It's like, they don't care. She light shades of blush. Y'all don't like black people, but y'all love our culture. And that goes for everybody. They don't like black people, they, but they love the culture. They love it. They love it. They can't survive without our culture. They can't survive without our slang. They can't survive without our hair. They can't survive without our fucking skin tone. Everybody want to be black, but nobody want to be black. You heard me. So they had her wearing a durag. They had Kai wearing a durag. Like, if a male artist can't wear it, what makes you think a female artist can wear it? There's no cut cards around here. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. 
And I, I knew they came out with Jackson. He was talking shit about the Chinese media. Um, Jackson is wilding, y'all. I can't even lie. I like got something, but Jackson is wilding. Like, why are you on stage? He like, and I seen multiple videos. He on stage with a bottle of fucking Hennessy, chugging that bitch. I don't know if y'all can drink or like if y'all know if y'all haven't had Hennessy before. But that's a strong ass liquor. That's that's a dark liquor. Like when when people be drinking Hennessy, they be they be wildin'. <laughs> Honestly. I don't be wildin' when I drink it. But if you a Hennessy drinker, you be wildin'. <laughs> like you you wild. Like, uh uh. He and he on stage chugging it. That government, honestly, I felt like he was drunk. Maybe, or maybe like I said, he just wilding. Like he wilding. And you all like, oh, you know, idols are given this image they have to upkeep. And since he's not with JYP no more, he's just doing whatever he want. Also, he is CEO of his own company or well, his own record label. So, well. Sneakers by Itzy should have been just not even a title track, not even a, a B side. It should have just been one single by itself as a brand promo for Adidas because that's what I'm pretty sure it was promoting. Because, like, I know Korea liked the song, but that was not a good title track song. It was a cute song, but. It's a it's it's a brand deal type of song like that's a commercial type of song. That's you from um Issy actually realized like when people like their songs they love their songs. But when people don't like their songs they hate it and that's true because I hated sneakers. But Cheshire, that song go hard. La 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 la. Also, if y'all need a lower lash line um mascara, get the small version of the roller lash. This works so good. I, I will show y'all right now, but I'm I, I'm not doing it yet. Um, but let me show y'all just the wand. I'm gonna show y'all the wand. The wand. Like you can really get in there. You see? Like look at the wand. It's just too big. Like I'm gonna show y'all the, the the size different. Or any brown. It don't matter. A brown is a brown. Then I use this MAC Lustering lipstick. It's just this pink one. Oh gosh. I can't find my lip glosses I just had. So this is all I'm gonna use. Next bottle of gloss in Madeline. I'm gonna spray my face. This Hydro Grip Spray. Oh, it just got on. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my little whore. Bye. Yeah.